Okay, guys, we have an awesome park today for you. This is built by the NMD Realistic Build Team, which includes a lot of super, super cool people. I'll probably put all the people who are on that team down below. Make sure to check them out. Maybe they'll have some YouTube channels down there, whatever they have, kind of social media links. They built this amazing Six Flags park. It's not exactly like any Six Flags. I believe it's just a, a lot of the things are kind of their own take on some stuff, and they probably put some rides from other Six Flags parks into this, but it's not like an actual Six Flags recreation. It's just like their own Six Flags. Flags, which is super sick it has so many likes oh my goodness we're adding a like oh yeah we need to get this guy to 300 likes so i will be doing the secret kizzy thing so make sure to watch out for that secret kizzy pops up on the screen and then i will pin your comment if you put the right time frame when the kizzy pops up all right let's just start i just know the amount of detail in this park will be crazy ready i already love the style of this ticket booth like what the heck this looks so good it looks just so nice so pleasing to just look at then we got like the main street kind of vibes we just go through here we got nice houses these houses look so good. Wait, can we even go in them? <gasps> Ew, no, Cozy's Cookies, no. So we're gonna check out the menu. We're not gonna buy anything because Cozy's Cookies is not the place to go, guys. Just saying. It is a little cheap, though. I like how cheap it is. I like how cheap it is. Unless the cookies are tiny, then that is not very cheap. Cookie dough? Okay. If I were to come here, I would probably get some cookie doughs. These look so good. Like, I want, I want some cookie dough right now. Oh, yeah. These look good. Ew, no, Cozy's Cookies. No. <clears throat> what okay i'm gonna stop saying cozy's food is really good we've got another little shop it's not really complete but it is you you get the idea and it looks so nice i love this design guys put so much work into just designing these shops and nobody really is gonna go inside and explore it's really just the outside that looks nice but i love how he also included an inside let's go to the inside of some other shops all right what is this i think this is like the information if you're confused have questions right here this is where you find it and then look at these shirts look it's like a roller coaster that is so sick i have never seen a shirt like that but that's amazing what are these teddy bears give me one of those if i'm gonna buy something here it is those teddy bears those look so good some more shirts and stuff all right all right i like it what is this i'm not sure kind of looks like thread thread a soda machine maybe that could be it that could be it and this fireplace nice little touch right there we're gonna keep going though okay really nice detailed houses that look super good we're gonna make it nighttime in a little bit actually let's just make it nighttime right now i just really want to see what this looks like at nighttime Ooh, oh i like it that's nice the ferris wheel at nighttime nothing can beat that that looks amazing look he even put effort into sequencing a ferris wheel what what it's a whole show right here let's move on though let's keep going Going. i like the fountain i like it we got another inside of a shop right here Ooh, this one's really cool Ooh, i like this is probably my favorite one maybe the other one with the teddy bears is my favorite but look at this the overall look of this shop is amazing honestly he i think he just did an amazing job with this entire area of the park but of course let's move on what is this okay in the comments guys tell me what kind of ride this is i have no idea what ride this is but i know i've seen it somewhere before this looks really nice though this is called the sky screamer all right should we ride it guys should we ride the sky screamer oh wait it's not a real ride what i did not expect that to be a fake ride that looks so what okay oh there is some what in the uh, i'm just gonna back go away slowly oh my gosh i'm stuck get me out of here get me out of here i love how we put attention to like the greenery as well a lot of people don't do that they just like kind of mush a ton of plants together but this looks so good he put attention to every single little plant in here and it looks very very nice so this is our first roller coaster let's ride it guys i don't plan on riding every single coaster because there is like uh a lot of roller coasters but let's just ride this first roller coaster it's a little coaster it doesn't go as far and it's not as long as the other ones but you know we're gonna we're gonna ride it because it looks fun oh here it is oh it's gone oh we're, we got it oh shoot look how tall that goes dang it this is like double track i like it i like it okay we got the gist of it please don't oh, oh, oh. okay we got off we got the gist of that one that's just kind of the whole thing over and over again pretty nice it would be fun in real life 100 this next station looks real nice and i love how they have these like misters we always need the misters at theme parks very handy right there all right let's ride this right this looks nice oh we're getting on right now yep let's do this this reminds me a lot of the what's it called the Wonder Woman coaster, I believe it's called. The single rail. I like it. And I love single rails are supposed to be smooth as heck. And this is smooth as heck. He did really good. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at this smooth transition. Yes. Airtime. Airtime. A little bit of airtime. Nice ride right there. I like that one. Okay. Let's see. What is our next ride? What is this? 
Um, not sure. It is literally nothing. It's just a stand. That's okay. Ooh, here we go. This is the owner of the park, I believe. Under construction, so they still have a new area they're making. That looks really cool. I'm excited for that area. And these palm trees, what? These palm trees are incredible. Oh, this is a perfect angle. Look at this. Dang, guys, this angle right here, this entire area just looks so good. Oh, yeah. The big easy. Is that? Oh, that's the, that's the Ferris wheel. That is the Ferris wheel right there. The big easy. All right, we're going to keep exploring this park. I like this time of day. This time of day with, like, the kind of sunset, it looks nice. But we are going to set it back to the normal time of day. Okay, what should we... Our, I think our next ride is this big one right here. This humongous ride. It's called Goliath. Oh, yeah. That is a sick name. Oh, and look at that station. What? All right, here we go. Let's go. I also set it to, like, the sunset time. It looks a little strange, but that's okay. Here we go. Back to normal time. This is so sick. I don't think I've been to a Six Flags park, but if I were to go to one, it would look almost exactly like this. This is awesome. And I love how it's a custom one. When people recreate parks, it's awesome, but it can get a little boring when you're recreating a park, like copying every ride exactly how it is, re-watching the videos. But if you're making your own thing and you're just making your own version of a park, that's even better. Cause then you're putting your own spin into that park and it looks amazing and it might even look better than the original park because you're kind of adjusting it to your theme park taking two skill level all right that ride amazing so i don't think we're gonna ride well wait this coaster is so cool i it's still under construction but i like the concept of that coaster right there so i think this will be our last coaster this this hybrid right here will be our last coaster because it is obviously the coolest coaster in this entire place it looks amazing so we're gonna ride that one last first we're gonna ride so we just rode that one that's a huge coaster actually goliath that is huge Huge. But I really want to ride this blue one right here. This looks awesome. What's this one called? Where's the entrance? I actually don't know. Where is... Oh, oh, oh. Down the entrance. Somewhere over here, at least. So... We're just gonna call it the No Name Coaster, because there's no name. Like, where... Where's the name? We'll call it, um, the Orca. Just because. I don't know. I don't know why Orca. I'm so sorry if you actually named it. Oh, we stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is so scary. We. Yeah. Wait. Wow, this is a smooth. It's like a really compact coaster in a small area, but he made it real nice. Oh, yeah. That was a good coaster. I liked that one. All right, I think it might actually be time to go to our final and biggest coaster of all i actually don't know what the name is so we're actually gonna go and find out what the name is here it is okay so oh also a no name all right good with the no names this car looks so nice what this entire station area is amazing the detail the detail of like it going in and out of this barn it's not really a barn just kind of like a barn area is really really nice dang okay so we're just gonna get on the coaster that's already going up let's do that actually no we'll, we'll get in this coaster that's about to go up i love this queue just the idea of this queue is so good and i love how he connects it like this that makes it so realistic so oh i'm dead um ever had a dream that you you want that you um you had you so usually cues don't kill you so that's the only not realistic thing but it is so so realistic and this is probably the biggest coaster as well because it literally takes up like a third of this park so let's ride this finally we have made it to the top of this thing dang look at the view of the whole park from here whoa whoa i really haven't built an rmc before but i bet I bet is one of the hardest coasters to build, especially with these amazing custom supports he's put. I don't think y'all realize how hard this is to make. This is not just a copy and paste kind of thing. These custom supports are like a keep, like, like you copy and paste, but it's so much copy and pasting and making new things. And it looks perfect. Like, I, I don't see any flaws in the supports, which is awesome. This would take days and days to make just the custom supports. Dang. And not to mention the terrain too. Like, yeah, some of the terrain is unfinished. Like right here, you just got the normal grass. But a lot of the terrain is really nice. And we love the simple terrain where it's just a little bit of plants here and there. All right, really nice ride. Amazing RMC right there. An amazing park overall. Oh my goodness, this park has been awesome. Wait, 
Did he build this? <gasps> Dang, he built an air race. Wow, that is a nice little touch to this park. I love all these custom. People have parks where they just custom build like those flat rides. This guy put those custom build flat rides into use and actually like put them in an awesome park. I love how he did that. And I don't even think, oh yeah, this, this, he definitely put stuff around it as well. This fireball thing. He definitely like built all these things around it to make it just so much better because a basic flat ride without anything added onto it, not enough. Thank you to the NMD build team for letting me showcase this park. And look, there's a little playground too. We oh what is this oh well this playground is fun i guess thanks for letting me showcase this this park was actually awesome we love it when build teams make a super cool project and let youtubers showcase the entire project if they have a youtube channel or something like that they will be in the description down below thanks so much to you guys for watching and if you're not subscribed yet to my channel like bro we're doing awesome videos like this one showcasing people's super cool talents and time and effort into their parks please come and subscribe to be able to see all of these awesome videos of people making parks and that's it from kizzy if if you haven't found the secret kizzy yet you should go back and try to find it because this one's gonna be a more difficult secret kizzy so watch out for that secret kizzy i'll see you guys in the next video